you're doing. Uh, this is the start of a series where I'm going to be covering the use of small hand shields. I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between modern usage and historical European usage. There's a lot we can learn from these and there's a lot of interest in them being a home defensive item. Uh, there's, there's a lot to be looked at that in the future. But today, what I'm going to cover in this video is some basic defensive movements using a small shield. Now, those of you that are familiar with the Filipino martial arts should be familiar with the concept of the live hand. That is the hand that you are using to engage with your opponent's weapon, your uh, opponent's weapon limb, your opponent's body, uh, your opponent's hand whatever you can get a hold of, whatever you can grab, depending on the situation and the dynamics of the fight. The small shield, if the handle is of the right variety, you can still easily manipulate things with your hand while holding on to the small shield. And now you have a solid device that you can use to block things and an uh, easy way to think about this is to think about it like a large boxing glove. You slip, you hide behind it. The other thing that we can think about this and uh, we can use it as is a reinforcement to all of our standard blocks. Um, there is all sorts of offensive use of a small shield, and we will get into that in later videos. Uh, but for this one, we're just going to cover the defensive use. And what I can do as one person, this is August of 2020, we're still in the middle of uh, the COVID-19 epidemic and the quarantine. So it's hard to do a lot of things as partners. Uh, Things are, starting, things are starting to loosen up somewhat. Numbers do seem to be dropping. So maybe we'll get back to you shortly being able to train together. But let's go over some basic blocks. We're gonna start off with the first block that everybody in any form of Filipino martial arts should be familiar with, and that is the roof block. Typically, without a shield, we'll see the roof block done like this like this, um, lots of variants, lots of systems have uh, different ways of doing it. Um, we'll also see a reinforced roof block where you use your hand and forearm to brace the stick against heavier impact. Now, that's a great way to block. Once we take a small shield into it, we add the small shield into our block like so. And now what you see is we are protected by our weapon and it's blocking this line. Our head is ducked below it and the shield is now braced against their arm. Now you can push and strike from that position, but right now all we're really worried about is the reinforcement. Boom, right here. All right, notice the shield is turned flat. This is so that I can see my opponent. If the shield is in this position, see how much of my face disappears. See how much of the visibility I have lost. All right, so one more time, roof block using a small shield. From the roof block, we're simply gonna to transition to an outside deflection. Now, normally the outside deflection would simply be bringing the stick down into this line. Straight up and down, slightly turning your wrist out to tuck in your elbow and protect that. But we have a shield. So from here, all we're doing is bringing this to here. By dropping the shield down into this line, we are protecting lower and we're reinforcing this block. You can also, from this position, have the shield flat. And notice that completely covers the elbow, this elbow, 
so it's not there to be struck. The next blow, uh, the next block, obviously, should be the inside deflection, and from that, we're simply turning it here. And again, shield facing the way the weapon's coming in, or flat, and giving us more protection. It's one of the big things about central grip shields is you can turn them and widen your angle because the line of the weapon striking it, that angle constantly expands. So as wide as I am, I'm hiding behind a shield here that is maybe nine inches in diameter, maybe. Um, I've never actually me measured this. So let's go through those one more time progressively. We've got roof block, we've got outside deflection, and we've got inside deflection. Real simple. Shield is covering the hand, shield is covering the hip, and it's in a position where we can easily interact with whatever is coming into us. Now, the low arm blocks are exactly the same. We have a low outside deflection and a low inside deflection. The only difference is we take the small shield and we combine it. So from here, we come to here or to here. And in both these cases, we're covering our hands, protecting our hand from being hit, and we are reinforcing this block, this structure, with our hand. So ideally we know that we don't want to block our legs. We want to avoid being hit in the legs by stepping out of the way. But sometimes you have to block. So let's go through that yet again, one more time. Third time we'll call it quits for the day. <clears throat> so roof block, outside deflection, inside deflection, low outside deflection, low inside deflection. Real simple stuff. Should be very familiar to you if you do Filipino martial arts. The applications should be very straightforward. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll happily discuss it. I try to answer this stuff as soon as I see it. And, um, Hopefully we can get a really good dialogue going. Like I said, there will be more in this series. This is just the first one, and hopefully it whets your appetite. See you guys out there. Stay safe. Train hard.